And tell me about your family. My dad worked in the bush and uh, my mum, you know, she's out and about um, all the time. Hi everyone, my name is Jack Wallace. I'm a dialect coach here in Hollywood. And today I'm going to figure out who has the real authentic Australian accent. My name is Hayley and I'm Australian. Hello, my name is Brett Lark and I'm Australian. Hi, my name's Ayla and I'm Australian. The placement of the tongue plays a big role in the Australian accent. They tend to use a slightly different part of the tongue to form the vowels compared to English and American people. It's especially in the div sounds, which means there's two sounds in a vowel. The O sound and the A sound especially. For example, OK in English, O, K, goes O, oh, the div on that way. In American, it goes the other way, O, oh, K. In Australian, it goes O. Oh. So it uses like the middle part of the tongue rather than the back of the tongue. The I sound, for example, ice cream. People will tend to overshoot and end up with ice cream rather than ice cream. We want something in the middle where you use the middle part of your tongue. I, 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 ice cream. Let's bring the people from down under up here. Start at this end as you're right here. Come on up. Hello. So, wh what what is your name? My name is Brett Lark. I'm from Australia. How long have you been in America? Oh, I've been in America for about five years. Can you tell me about your family. My dad worked in the bush, and uh, <laughs> mum, you know, she's out and about um, all the time, oh. hanging with the kids, doing the house stuff. If you were to name the last and the first day of the week. What would they be? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, great. Thank you. Talk about yeah. my spot now? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I think. Okay, okay. We have you come up. Hi, what is your name? G'day. My name's Ayla. Nice. Lovely to meet you, Ayla. And how long have you been in America? I've been in America also five years. Great. I feel like there's mischief afoot. What do you like to do? I like to read. I love plants. I love visiting gardens and being outside. Nice. I love to eat. I love Vegemite. Oh, well, we're getting into some Australian culture here. I feel like there's a, a very heavy handed push for I'm from Australia in, in this answer. Will you tell me the days of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Excellent, thank you very much. Yes. It feels like she has a kind of, I hate to use the word light, but kind of a, a less stereotypical Australian accent. There are the like slight I sounds in there without it becoming I. There's potential here. <laughs> and she said Vegemite. <laughs> Excellent, and what, what is your name? Hayley. Excellent. And how long have you been in America, Haley? Five years. Oh, great. Everyone's been here for five years. <laughs> what can you tell me about your family? My mom's a teacher and my dad's an accountant and I have two brothers. Ah, excellent. And how old are your brothers? Are they older or younger? Younger. The middle one is 21 and the youngest one is 13. Mm, excellent. If I got them wrong, they're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do the days of the week for me? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going into the final round. I'm only going to have 30 seconds with each person to figure out who is telling the truth and who is lying. Sure. Excellent. For this version, I'm going to get everybody to say the same phrase. The phrase I would like you to say is six sheep sleep on three ships. 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 I just need to test these two people one more time. Okay, I've got to give you some very typical Australian words to say, just to see how they sound coming out of you, whether they sound like foreign words to you or whether they sound like, oh yeah, this is this is language I use all the time. These are dialect things I use all the time. The phrase I would like you to say is, Struth, it's Blinky Bill. 
truth. It's Blinky Bill. Now just imagine that there's a koala in front of you and you're shocked about it and give it me one more time. Struth, it's Blinky Bill. All right, great, thank you. Yeah, that's it. You said, may I have you up? <laughs> Same phrase, you see a koala, unexpectedly. Struth, it's Blinky Bill. Struth, it's Blinky Bill. Excellent. Uh, one more time, just naturally like, oh, it's Struth. Struth, it's Blinky Bill. All right, thank you very much. I think I've come to my decision of who the real person may be. The reason why I'm choosing this person is because they're very contained within their own accent the whole time, whereas I feel like some of the others had the signature sounds at some point and then veered off at other points, whereas this person was consistently within the same accent. Two of the people were a little wandering within their signature sounds. Now they could have been doing this to throw me off. Who knows? The person I think that was consistently within the same sound groups the whole time is Ayla. <laughs> I am so glad I got it right. I could continue working in this field and not feel ashamed. When he asked me to say the whatever thing about the koala, I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> That was a lot of fun, actually. It was a lot of fun to listen to the other two. They said that had me really trying not to fall on the ground in laughter. Like, my dad works in the bush. 